and dinky do me hearties. A very, very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. I thought I'd pop up on the TikTok just to say hi to every single one of you. So lovely to be back with you. And of course, do come and join me and give us all your chat. We're always interested. Marvellous stuff. So there we are. Tell ten, tell ten, tell ten. There's Jack joining us. Jack, good evening to you and a big dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. How fantastic is this? So lovely to be live on the TikTok. Hello, Scotty, says Zach. Hello, Zach. How lovely to have you with us and thank you for joining us. So there we are. I love this. Some comments in the live were filtered to protect the community. This is wonderful. This means all the wee trolls have been booted right down the swanee. Uh, where they belong, I hasten to add, hello, says Kareem, hello Kareem, how lovely to have you with us, Kareem, I've just popped up on the YouTube channel, so uh, lovely to have you with us here, good evening from Guruk, says Scotch Eggs, Scotch Eggs, how's Guruk looking tonight, we love Guruk, it's where I was brought up, hello, says Harvey, hello Harvey, how marvellous to see you and Dinky Do, <laughs> wonderful stuff, I can mind you from the old Scott FM days, says Davy. Davy, absolutely, we were just talking. 30 years this year, I appeared on Scott FM radio. What a wonderful, wonderful time for Scotland and wonderful time for Scottish radio that station actually was. Um, oh, really? It's all okay tonight? Yes, Scotch Eggs, we love it. Do you know the Albert Road? Absolutely. Kempock Street. Yes, indeed. Uh, so there we go. Did you do, Scotty? It used to be a real radio. I did use a 588. Well, it was called Scott FM. And then my big friend started real radio. Uh, marvellous stuff, and it changed hands a few times. We love Scotland. We adore Scotland, I tell you. Are you live on YouTube? Yes, I went live on YouTube, Karim. I'm not live now. I've just come back. So I purely went on YouTube tonight for about half an hour uh, just to see. So I want to build the YouTube channel as well as building the TikTok. So if you can all follow me on TikTok and go up to the top, um, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. That would be brilliant. You've not aged. What's your sector? Oh, Davy, of course we don't age because we're talking to people like you. I tell you that. Um, I've ruined two socks to this live already. What are you doing? Are you knitting? Uh, what about the Finnis and Crane? I always tell people I wasn't actually born. I was knitted. My grandmother knitted me, and we think she dropped a couple of stitches. <laughs> <laughs> and Bruce says, look at uh, what with the finish and clean, we love it. Is that not known as the Titan? I tell you, uh, you know, as opposed to somebody I knew who was the Titan. Uh, so there we go. Um, who was your friend who started Scott FM? Was it John Simons? No, no. Um, I know John Simons. I remember John. No, uh, John Myers started Real Radio, John Myers. And sadly, John passed away way before his time. I think he was barely 60, bless him, a lovely man. And it was he and I that came up with the whole concept for the late night phone-ins for Scotty McClue. So there we are. There's Wally, who calls himself a crackpot. Wally, I'm sure you're harsh on yourself there, son. I bet you're not as much of a crackpot as you think you are. Uh, so there we go. Yes, but I remember John very well. Yes, he what with us. Uh, fantastic stuff. Thank you, Mark. <coughs> Who have we got here? All oh, you wonderful people. Scotty boy. Hi, Scotty McClue, says John T. John T. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Get following, guys. We want followers after follower after follower after follower on TikTok. Because I've put lots of new videos up for you to see. And also, I want you to visit the YouTube channel up to the top left. Hit the bio. There's a wee link to YouTube. Go and subscribe, come back and tell me when you've done it. I'll give you a shout out. So there we are. You did indeed, Victory. Yes, absolutely. Now, who else have we got here? I've just finished football training, says Reese. Cold night, but loved it. Reese, have you got the old floodlights on where you train? That is fantastic stuff, I say. Um, Haggis, how are we doing? 
Uh, there we go. Uh, Kareem, it says to invite you to join us as a live guest. Have you been to Hull? Been to Hull? I used to broadcast on Viking Radio, the Scotty McClue show on Viking Radio. How amazing was that? I tell you. So not just have I been to Hull, I love the Humber Bridge and I love Hull. I think you're beautiful people. Can you say there's a moose loose about the hoose of Carnage? I can say there's a moose loose about this hoose. That's the stuff. <laughs> two to the left and two to the right. I have to say your dancings. Excellent. There we go. Can I have a shout out, please, mate? You can. Arctic, I tell you. Um, so there we go. So yes, we've been to Hull. Uh, there we are. Uh, now, what do we got here? Lots and lots of that. Uh, got a Muir clan Bible going back to 1764. Now, Bluebird, I think with the Muirs not in the Scottish borders. There we are. Fantastic. I knew one or two Muirs. Yes, Scotty, you legend. Dinky do protest. Oh, lovely to have you with us. Now, what do we got here? Uh, what's your thoughts on Gallery? I think he's a remarkable man. I love his brain and his genius. He banned me from his Twitter account because he had a show that was called The Mother of All Talk Shows. And I said, you may have the mother of all talk shows, but Scotty McClure is the daddy of them all. Yes, and he banned me. <laughs> but uh, I'm a big admirer of the man's work. What's your thoughts on the city of Stirling? I love it. I danced the night away at the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders Ball in the Great Hall at Stirling Castle. I then started your radio station in 1990, Central FM Radio. I set that up for you. So there you go. Uh, who have we got here the Flying Theatre? Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill. We shall fight them on the beaches and on land and sea and in the air. There we are. David the Giant, funny man. Hi, Scotty, from the boys in Erskine Hospital. Sorry we've been all told to get to bed. Well, George, you will do, but I think you can be a wee bit disobedient because you can say, Scotty McClue's on live on TikTok, sister. Yes. There we are. We love the guys at Erskine Hospital. I can go right back to uh, Colonel Boyle and Colonel MacDonald gone. And um, Sir Gordon McMillan, General McMillan, there we are. And Dinky Do, I say to you, I think the same. We need bodies like you, Galloway and Powell, not weak speakers. Stephen, I was thinking tonight, what about a new kind of politics altogether? And forget rich versus poor, because we're all poor because of the rich. So what I would say, and, and when I say rich, these are very loose terms. People with money and people without so much money. That's what got not rich and poor. But that's what politics has been reduced to, and it's failing us. Failing, failing, failing. So what I'm suggesting, what about politics round religious grounds? And then nobody could ever be anti-anything. So if you're in the Christian party, you're not going to be anti Christ. See what I just did there. If you're in the Islamic party, you're not going to be Islamophobic. If you're in the Judaism party, the Jewish party, you're not going to be an anti-Semite. Do you see what I'm saying? And then you organize through the churches, the mosques, the temples. Yes, the temple of Sikhism, Hinduism, all that, the world's great religions, because religion has never, ever, ever caused a problem. What causes a problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding of religion. That's the thing there. I think you do, Scotty, I think you do. So there we are. There's Gary. Uh, so there you go. Gary, you say you can't polish yourself up? Yes, but we do try. We're not going to give up on you. Religion's the biggest problem ever to grace the world. No, you see, Kieran, you're 100% wrong. Religion's never been a problem at all. A lack of knowledge and understanding is the problem with religion. But religion itself never, ever, ever causes a problem. And if you had that, you would have no more war. I tell you. Now, what have we got 